destruction and devastation in Puerto Rico internationally today. The U.S. territory is facing a long, difficult road of recovery after Hurricane Maria ravaged the island. A new normal for the millions of Americans who live there. No power, no running water, and that could last up to six months. Images coming from Puerto Rico show homes, streets, highways completely flooded and with more rain expected today. That could unleash more life-threatening flash floods and mudslides. CNN's Leila Santiago joins me now from Catano, uh, Puerto Rico. Leila, the National Weather Service just issued a dire warning to people near a dam in the western part of Puerto Rico. Right, Jake, we actually just watched a helicopter, uh, which I suspect is carrying relief aid right now, fly uh, just over us. I have spoken to the governor's office right now, and they tell me that that will require them evacuating 70 thousand people because this dam on the west coast in Isabela, that area, is, has now created a flash flooding issue. Uh, that is going to be the big priority when it comes to emergency management. National Guard is there, emergency management there, and the governor now indicating that the Coast Guard is heading that way. And that is only one part of the island. Many parts, like where I am right now in Cataño, you see this type of